Okay, it looks like, you know, you may be thinking about starting a family over here. You've got the nurturing card over here. So you're looking, you know, a lot at your life. Maybe you're doing a, a, some kind of life review over here. And I say that because you've got this choice over here. It looks like, you know, there are two babies in here. So maybe you're planning on actually, uh, you know, furthering your family or, or starting a family as well. And you're really, really considering this on a very, very deep level. There seems to be some choice. Maybe you have to make a choice between your career and your uh, family life as well. So this is where you are at. And you're looking a lot to the past. Uh, you've got this card of reflection over here, trying to make a decision about, uh, you know, whether you, how you want to move forward. So there looks like there's some choice that you are facing at the moment. And you're doing a lot of deep thought about it, a lot of reflection. You can see this woman's looking to the past quite a bit. And she's got this uh, sign of the... Um, ram over here or, or um or the goat rather and this is about career so maybe you're making a choice as to whether you want to do something uh that um you know where you defocus from your career and start a family or start a relationship that's going to be something that moves you towards uh starting a family so you are at some kind of crossroads at the moment so you've been uh you know taking care of your health recently um concentrating on that focusing on um you know getting better maybe you have come through some kind of um health issues and you are now dealing with that you are in a relationship where the person is pretty devoted to you and you know it's a very good relationship it's a very relaxing relationship with somebody that cares a lot for you and maybe this is why you want to start a family with this person so going into the future there might be some situation that comes up that makes you a bit upset so you know there might be somebody that you're dealing with uh that causes a lot of uh, anger on your behalf so there might be some kind of confrontation that you have with this person um so you know just try and relax and don't get too upset about it uh you know and this person you might have a lot of feelings or love for this person it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a love relation that i'm talking about but you know it could be even family somebody around you that you love a lot but is not uh reciprocating or not showing you that same devotion that you are showing them so whoever this person is in your life it might not be a relationship but it could be even in your relationship that's why maybe you know if maybe you want to start a, a, a family um, with this person and maybe in your relationship this person is not uh, giving you back that love maybe this devotion that is coming is on your part rather than on that person that you are with and maybe this is why you're really thinking twice about whether or not you want to start a family with them maybe you have a lot of issues that you have to deal with with this person maybe they are a bit overbearing or dominating or maybe very restrictive and you really are thinking about whether or not you want to start something um you know long term with this person maybe you feel like that you know you're giving more into this putting more into this relationship than they're actually giving you uh, you know, this is echo, uh, you know, maybe you're saying all the things, but they're not saying the right things. And maybe this is the reason why you feel like, you know, you are putting too much of effort in it and they're not giving it back uh, to you. And maybe this is why you're really thinking about whether or not you want to start something long term with them. So that could well be the case that is going on. So these are the energies that are going on for those uh, two weeks. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, um, you've got the two of pentacles over here. So here you are you know juggling trying to make some kind of decision trying to prioritize really um you know looking to the future trying to make plans for the future really you're sorting out maybe your finances out maybe there's a relationship over here maybe you have a choice of relationships that you have to deal with or you're trying to pick a relationship or maybe you're trying to juggle your relationship and your work life but there's definitely some juggling act that is going on over here. Um, you know, you've got a lot of people uh, having a lot of respect for you. You've got them standing on the balcony over here watching you do this, quite impressed with how you're, you're managing uh, to juggle your family life and maybe your work life. Um, but you are trying to make some kind of choice or decision over here. And, um, you know, you're just managing to get things uh, you know, you're making plans for the future over here. You can see the future, uh, or you want a future that is stable. Um, but, um, you know, it's been hard. Maybe you're working very, very hard to try and balance these two, um, uh, ingredients, your home life and your family, you know, your home life and your work life. And maybe that is taking a bit of its toll on you as well. 
So you've got um, the uh, Knight of Pentacle, uh, Knight of Cups over here, and um, you've got the Hierophant over here. So it looks like uh, you're moving away from some kind of difficult situation that you've been dealing with and, uh, you know, you're moving forward into the future. So it looks like you've come out from some kind of battle. There might have been some kind of family problems over here. You've got the Cancer Crab over here. So there could have been some kind of difficult family situation that you were dealing with and you are now moving away from it. You've learned a lot of lessons over here. Um, you know, there was a choice that you had, had to make. There's an apple cut in two over there. You've been uh, researching. So looking uh, to find out what, what was the cause of all these problems going to the core of the matter really um and this is giving you the answers of the solutions over here uh, so there's another baby over here so maybe you're trying to make a decision about like i said having a baby as well uh but also trying to get to the heart of the matter trying to find the solution to the problems and it looks like that you will get the answers to whatever problems you've been dealing with whatever difficulties those solutions will come to you as well so in the past, you've got the judgment card over here. So it's, um, you know, being called on to make a decision to change the way you've been doing things. So that's been happening in the last year. To, in order for you to move forward, you've needed to make some kind of decision. Uh, and you've been called upon that, uh, you know, being called to make that kind of judgment call, if you like, and move forward. Uh, if you have a family, you know, t in order for you to move forward with your family or to move forward in your family life, there's some kind of choice, something you have to give up, something you have to change uh, in order for you to move forward. You've got the high priestess over here. So, uh, you know, this is looking to yourself for the answers going within yourself to get solutions. Also, this is about, you know, maybe you've been spending a lot of time uh, doing research or study or concentrating on learning. Uh, because the high priestess is about that. And this is about following your own intuition and waiting for things to happen. So may you be waiting for some solutions to come to some problem that you're dealing with. You've got some kind of choice that you have to face and there's the, the you know, things have not been revealed to you over here because things are still behind the veil. So uh, some uh, truth not has not come to light yet and you are looking. You are actively searching because you can see this apple is cut open over here. So you are actively searching for the answers for what is going on so that you can move forward from that situation and i think it's got to do with something in the family because of this crab being here as cancer does rule the family life there's some kind of legalities that happened so there was a legal decision that has been made it's already been made and you know it's come and gone and maybe it's you are dealing with the repercussions of whatever happened. Uh, it may have had some kind of financial implications on you as well. And might have been to do with a family or a family um, problems uh, where there was some kind of legal decision that was made. Um, and, you know, it stirred up a lot of problems. A lot of uh, issues were brought uh, to light as well. And there was some kind of battle that you seem to have fought because this knight is in full armor here. So it seems like, you know, you have let it go now and you're moving forward. Maybe you've kept up communication or tried to communicate. And maybe they haven't. Your family has not communicated with you and now you're moving away from that situation. So going into the future, um, you've got the death card over here. So it looks like you are, you've let uh, that past go and you are moving forward over here. You can see this is the death walking away, but you are now dealing with whatever, uh, cutting out those people have, you know, you, you've ended that situation and you're dealing with whatever um, has come off it. So you are picking up the pieces of your life after a situation has ended. So, you know, you are being very positive about it and uh, things are starting to go your way here. You've got the sun here. So that means that, you know, there's some positivity coming in, some enlightenment coming in and you're getting some answers to some questions. So things are coming to light for you and you're finding solutions to these problems. You might also be, you know, asking, actively asking for some advice from people around you. Uh, it could be in the form of spiritual advice or you could be doing some research over here. But a lot of things are coming to light over here after this decision was made and this event has happened. So something big happened um, and you needed to move away from it. 
uh, and now you're looking for the answers and it looks like enlightenment is coming to you, but you've left that situation behind. Now you've got the five of pentacles. You're still a bit distraught about what happened. You feel quite a sense of loss, but there again is the light, the lamp over here, but you're getting these answers. Maybe you're not too thrilled about what you're hearing, uh, but definitely uh, a lot of information coming to light for you. And this has upset you quite a bit as well with this five of pentacles. So five of pentacles is about loss, but you are, you know, you were trying to find out why it happened and it looks like these answers are coming to you and you're not liking what you're hearing as well so you've got the magician card over here so you're turning your back on that past and you're not going to manifest for the future you've decided to um, you know manifest something different uh, you're focusing on a different um, way of thinking or a different emotional level and you're not going to focus on something else so you're leaving that past situation behind maybe there's something that you couldn't change or you can't don't have any input or impact on that situation so you are now moving away you've turned your back to it and you're going to concentrate on something else right now um, maybe these answers that you're getting or you know that you were questions you were asking you're not getting answers that are satisfying or not getting answers that are making you happy so you've decided to turn your back and focus on your own life rather than focus on what had, what had happened and you do want to move forward you've got the knight of rods over here maybe you, you're even planning on travel uh, to move yourself away from that situation uh, this is communication, this is travel, this is uh, taking uh, back your power in your hands and moving away from a situation. So you are looking to move to the future uh, and not deal with whatever these people were, whoever these people were in the past. You've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in over there. Uh, you've got the King of Swords over here and you have got the Ace of Pen um, Knight of Pentacles over here. So the King, um, the um, Wheel of Fortune looks like there are going to be events and communication that come in that change uh, the way things are being done. There seems to be somebody that you're dealing with uh, who's very toxic. They've got a cobra on their head over here, so be careful about what they're saying. They're not very, very honest. But whatever they're doing, they're changing the way events are going as well. So they're having a big impact on your life or uh, the big um, you know, impact um, on the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever they're doing, whatever they're saying might be really toxic or manipulative and they're manipulating the situation. You are not communicating on the same level. So whoever you're dealing with, you are not seeing eye to eye on them and you're not on the same page as them. And there's a lot of deceit that is going on as well. So for this case, the, the Wheel of Fortune seems to be um, turning uh, with the aid of deceit right now. So just be aware of that. There's some kind of legal matter as well that is going to be some kind of legal decision that is going to be um, passed as well. So, you know, this person might have quite an impact on that legal decision because they are speaking a lot of lies as well. So just be aware of that. Uh, you know, this is not a person to be trusted and everything, uh, you know, they may uh, be a very manipulative person and they're even able to manipulate the legal um, situation that is going on. But there's some kind of legality or legal decision that you're waiting for. But it looks like you're going to be turning your back to it and moving away and concentrating on your own life. Uh, so whatever is happening, it seems like you make a decision uh, that you're going to move forward. So there's a legal decision that is pending or coming through, but it looks like you're turning away from it and you're going to be focusing on yourself, on your life and your own um you know, whatever is going on with yourself. So you you are turning your back to whatever this problem is. So just be aware that maybe it is best to cut yourself off from this very toxic person who has uh, maybe a negative impact on, on the situation. Uh, maybe even, uh, you know, they're using legal means, manipulating the legal system in order to get their way around. It's best to turn your way, your back on them and focus on yourself and your own life rather than having to deal with them. So you are going to have to cut them out of your life. You are trying to look for answers over there. You don't like what you hear. It doesn't seem like whatever they're doing is above board and you're not very happy about it. Um, and you know, you've been trying to look for the uh, researching the questions. Um, at the end of the day, there's even a snake here on this um, Hierophant's uh, staff here. So, you know, whatever is going on is very deceptive. These people that you're dealing with are not uh, uh, honest and they're using uh, very devious means in order to get what they want. So it's best for you to turn your back on them and focus on yourself. Don't get yourself involved in a situation that is going to be detrimental to you. 
you know, um, even if it means a little bit of a loss, uh, you, it's best to take that hit than have to actually deal with people that are deceptive and can cause problems further down the line for you. So you've got the Knight of Raphael over here, and this is also moving away from difficult situations and committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet. Situations are topics that make your heart uh, flatter. So the Knight of Raphael is maybe uh, you know, taking your emotions and moving away. So this is the Knight of Cups, and this is moving away from difficult situations and ignoring what is going on. So leave the drama behind and and move forward. Then you've got the Nine of Gabriel here, which says, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility environmental activism. So even with the Nine of Gabriel, defend yourself. This is the Nine of Rods. And, uh, you know, move away from difficult situations. Don't um, turn back and give them any more power or energy. And this is the Strength card, which is dealing with difficult situations. And you can see this uh, bird is carrying the snake over here. So, you know, this might be, if you let the situation go, it will resolve itself. And maybe, you know, uh, karmic justice will take care of this person and their devious um, uh, actions. Uh, so it might be best to just leave it, uh, focus on yourself, uh, you know, work on your self-confidence, the strength, grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. So it's best to concentrate on yourself, concentrate on your work, concentrate on your own life and, uh, you know, making, building a life for yourself. Focus on what you have and what you are manifesting and, you know, uh, leave behind this difficult, toxic situation because it seems like, you know, it's no longer serving you and they are using devious means in order to get whatever they want. Um, so I hope that this reading has resonated with you and best of luck in this situation. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.